USB. All right, Artie, here we go. Step one is basically getting uh, the lid off this thing to work on it. Uh, show me how we go about doing that. Okay, no, it's really easy. Um, obviously, we flipped the MacBook Pro onto its back, and so we're looking at the bottom panel. And this bottom panel is really all that needs to come up. So there's 10 screws, and it doesn't matter what order you remove them, and it's, it's really simple. This is a screwdriver that we provide. So we'll just go ahead and start. You, know, you just want to make sure you don't lose them. There are a few different sizes. Primarily, they're all one size of this small type right here, and I would kind of position the screws near where you took them out. Um, as we go up here, these are actually going to be a little bit larger. All right, let's take the lid off this puppy and see what we got inside. Okay, great. Obviously, we removed all the screws, so let's just pop it up. It's best to grasp it towards the, the, the hinge of this screen and just kind of lift up and it comes up really easily. Hey, do we have to worry at all about static electricity when we're doing this kind of maneuver? What are your suggestions there? No, because just, you know, touch, well, you're going to be touching this the whole time, the lid, and that's, you know, the ground portion of the, uh, the, the CPU. So, you know, there's really no static issues you're going to need to worry about in this install. All right, great. So you guys see the OWC SSD sitting there. I already replaced that. And then right on top of that is where we have the current DVD drive, right? Exactly right. Right on top of that is the uh, is your optical drive. And we will, in the next step, be removing that. And Let's go for it. What's okay. next here? Okay. So basically uh, our next task here is just to remove the optical drive so that we can put the, uh, the OptiBay in its place. So we're going to just begin by removing uh, some of these connectors that you see that are connected to the logic board. This is actually the hard drive connector and connects the hard drive onto the logic board and that's sitting on top of the optical drive so we'll uh, disconnect that. The next is actually the, the optical drive connector itself. Okay, so the actual way that the optical drive is, is uh, attached to the, uh, the computer is that there are actually a total of three screws and two are in the front near the slot and that's what we'll be removing now. Screw management is very important, folks. <laughs> I have found this out and uh, it's something good while he's doing this to remind you guys to do. Uh, good screw management can make the difference between a frustrating day and a happy day. Absolutely. Again, I was talking to Artie about how long this normally takes, 10 to 15 minutes. Obviously, we're not doing it in real time here. We're doing it in shots, but just so you have an idea. Exactly right. So the third screw is located right here. And there we go. Three screws are removed. Okay, so next we're actually going to remove the drive. A couple more screws left, right? Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a little speaker uh, bracket right above the uh, what we call the wing of the op optical drive, and this these screws, this that bracket actually doesn't need to come out; just the screws taken out so that it can just lift up slightly. And just always make sure, folks, that um, you just keep track of what screws go where. And, and also read your documentation because you guys do address the differences there, right? That's absolutely right. Okay. So. All right, so we're ready to lift up on the, uh, the actual drive and remove it. There's a little flap. So now we're just lifting up the optical drive to remove it. And um, there's a little flap here that goes over the, uh, the battery. This is, this is the, your, your internal battery. There's a little flap here that goes over the drive. So that just lifts up and the optical drive comes out. Voila, hey, just like cake. Pretty easy. Okay, so now we're ready to do the next step, which is, I guess, the installation of the optic drive. That's right. We're going to um, install the original internal hard drive that was in here into the opt into the opt bay, and then this unit, as you can tell, is the same size as your original optical drive, and that'll go in right into its I'm place. In. Okay, out with the old, in with the new. What's the next step? Okay, the next step is to take your original drive or whichever drive you're going to use in inside of the opt bay. You can. Actually, at this point, use drives up to 750 gigabytes. This one is the original drive from this MacBook Pro, so it's a, uh, a 320, 7200 RPM drive, and we're just going to attach it to the actual OptiBay. As you can tell, there's a spot for it right there, and 
the connector just goes onto the receptacle on the OptiBay, slides right in, and that's it. Now on the bottom there's going to be a place to attach two screws that we provide, and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now we're going to attach the screws to the bottom of the OptiBay, and this will actually adhere the, the drive itself into the OptiBay. Okay, so you're securing the drive into the OptiBay itself, just more than just a connector. You're actually making sure it's secure. It's going to the bottom of the screws that come with every drive. That's absolutely right. So that's a, uh, a secure fit. There's no, it's not going to be loose. There's no vibration. So it's a, uh, you know, it's totally attached into your OptiBay, which will be attached into your MacBook Pro. Let's do it. These are pretty small screws he's putting in here, guys, uh, but uh, we did do this one and for the whole take because I wanted you to see the whole process. The idea here is that it now looks identical to what uh, the DVD SuperDrive looked like before. It's got the same connector, it's got the same screws in the same place, absolutely setting it up for the next step, which is going to be reinserting this drive uh, OptiBay into the actual MacBook Pro. All right, Artie, so next is uh, getting this puppy in here, right? Yep, exactly right. So now we're just going to Put it right exactly into the spot where the original SuperDrive went. So we'll just slide it carefully, mind you, but keeping in mind the little connectors and... There's like a little gasket that's going around there. You guys can see that little black rubbery looking thing. That's a gasket that's just making it fit just so. Yeah, it actually, believe it or not, houses a little cable as well. So. Aha! And here's a little tape deal that went on top of the actual battery and this goes in place looks good and as you can see it's it's in place so now we're going to attach these screws here and in, in the back so that it is officially attached to the unit Okay, what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to spare you that part of it. I'm going to come back to it after we've put all those screws back in, and we're ready to reconnect the connectors. Okay, so now we've got the unit all screwed down in the exact same, using the exact same screws and locations as the original SuperDrive, and we're just going to now reconnect the connectors onto the motherboard. This one, as I mentioned before, is the hard drive, and it connects right there. Make sure you've got a little firm click to it, and this is the one for the actual OptiBay now and just make sure that is firmly attached and connected and that's it. The next step is just basically attaching the bottom lid again. All right, we're down to the last step, the last screw, and then we're gonna flip this puppy on and uh, show you what it's all about. Yep, here we go, the last. And again, just reminded you guys, this is probably about a 15 minute, let's say you're really cautious like me, I would probably take a half hour because I'd be scared, uh, but obviously, uh, already does this all the time and here again we did it in steps so this was not done in real time that would have just been too boring for you all right let's uh, flip this guy over here and uh, show him that next step all right you guys we've rebooted this computer and uh, tell me what we're looking at here I think I'm a happy camper <laughs> you are because now you have your SSD drive showing up as the Macintosh HD there and the OptiBay with the 320 gig 7200 rpm drive that you came that you took out of this machine is now back in it in the optical bay slot and you can see the icon there it says OptiBay and you're ready to store all your data or whatever you want to do with it. Okay so what we're looking at here is my old drive you've already put it inside tell me about how I'm going to connect this now to my uh, Mac and what I need to do before. Okay well essentially you've uh, installed the original super drive into this enclosure and it's uh, a USB 2.0 based enclosure so it will draw power as well as connect to your computer via USB 2. There are US two uh, USB cables uh, that you need to attach to your, so you will use both um, USB ports. Uh, but that's because one USB port cannot supply enough power to power a drive while it's burning and reading and all that stuff. It just doesn't supply enough power. So we do have uh, a double USB cable attachment. And however, at that at that time, once it's all connected, you'll be able to do everything with it that you could with a piece of 